Okay, here's the first run of the modded reflow oven using the cheap Walmart $20 toaster. This is the one with the, the white quartz uh, elements. The top, there's only two. One top and then one in the bottom, if you can see. And then they took out the rack, just left the plate there. Um, anyway, so I took out all the, got the, the dial there for setting stuff, and then it's put a plate here, nothing special. Uh, I put the solid state relay here. There's some other build to show you what's all in here, but yeah, that's pretty much what I did. I just got everything. Um, one of those videos to show that uh, inside using the um, Rocket Scream Arduino shield with Arduino Uno inside. So instead of putting it inside the oven like the other guy did, I just basically have it outside so that way it doesn't have to see any heat from the inside. Obviously, the, um, I just follow the instruction of the other guy here. I uh, forgot his name now, but uh, anyway, the, uh, there's a fire blanket inside the cover to keep everything cool where the solid state the relay is. Um, so I put in the switch here that hooks up to the rocket screen board. And then one for the reset switch and one for the other user switch. Hook up the 12 volt. So there's 12 volt DC supply that supply power to the fan here. And I have an LED that comes from the rocket screen board here that goes here. Um, but that's about it. Um, so I'm going to plug in the DC power. I already programmed this board to um, just follow the instruction. Now plug it in. Alright, so, and I got this cool custom fan that lets you uh, put message on it. It's um, from uh, All Electronics. It's not that expensive. It's like 12 bucks or something like that. That's pretty cool. Just adds a nice touch to it. Um, let's see, so this thing's blanked out. That's why I put reset switch outside so I can reset it. Okay, now that it reset, it said um, ready. 21.50C. Okay, I already have the thermocouple in there hanging in that comes from this to the board. Uh, thermocouple from um, Adafruit Industries, the Type-K thermocouple. Alright, let's see if this works. I'm just going to hit the start button here, this big blue one. Let's see, okay, it's a preheat. And I don't know, let's see, does it work? Um... Well, temperature is going up, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's actually turning on the element. So it looks like everything was hooked up correctly. Um, so the thermocouple was just reading the temperature. Uh, something's weird here. Maybe I got the thermocouple backward. That's probably what happened. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to take it apart. And temperature's going down, which is not the right way. Anyway, uh, stop and then rewire it. Well, since I have to take it apart, I just took off the bottom. Uh, this was a casing from some old vacuum pump that was broken. So it's actually made a nice uh, case. So in here, uh, disconnect everything. Okay, so in here, basically, Uno board. And I just have this basically cut so that I can fit this in nicely. Um, so I can easily remove it from. So as you can see, there's a, let's see, a rocket screen board on top. Uh, lighting is kind of bad here. Let's see, you can focus on it. Uh, yeah, so there's a rocket screen, oven refill control board shield, and then Arduino Uno. So oh, it's programming wise, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's not much to it. Um, so I need to switch the thermocouple around. I have the thermocouple here um, which is probably oops no thermocouple is on the left side yeah I got the plus and minus swap it's actually hard to tell based on the the, uh, the wiring wasn't clear because the both of the wire was stripped out so I couldn't tell which one's a plus and which is a minus but anyway since you know it's pretty obvious as backward I'll just swap the wire and then go from there and then put it back and rerun it again Okay, we back. Um, well, hopefully I hook up the thermocouple correctly this time around. 
So I got the power on. I guess I'll pluck the oven back in. Um, let's see if that's working. Okay, got the oven back in. And this thing's ready. So we're gonna hit the, just open it to let it cool. Okay, now that it's cool, let's see if this will work again. So hit start, it should say preheat. So according to the profile, it should hit about, I think 120C. And then soap there and then goes up some more. Let's see, element turns on. Uh, yeah, element's turning on. Hopefully it's getting hot. Yep, temperature is going in the correct direction now. Be going 50 degrees. All right, we're gonna see what happened here. So the oven's getting hot. That fan, I wonder if I should drill more holes to the side there. Right now, just blowing air into the top grating. So, eh, it's not too crucial, I guess. It's just to keep the SSR um, cool. The SSR, as you can see, it's um, telling me that it's turning the heat on. And you can see it's blowing hot in there. Seeing about 9300 degrees now. So, let it keep going. I think it's going to go 120. I'll just uh, see it will soak at some point. Yeah, let's see. I think I have the profile. Let's see. Look up the profile here. What it said. Okay. So according to this, it should hit about 120. And then it's gonna go to 245 at some point. Okay. It's soaking. Okay. 150 is soaking now. Um, I guess when it's soak, it just, uh, so SSR just, uh, turn it on and off to maintain the temperature that it needs, which is cool. Um, yeah, the LED is quite dim, it's hard to see. It's hard to see that the LED is there, but, uh, I guess maybe you should upgrade to a different LED or something, brighter one. In any case, it's 168. It's gonna soak until it hits about um, 200, I believe. And then from 200, it ramps to 245. Okay, it's getting hot in there. Ah, still fairly cool to touch. So the fire blanket, it's hot in the middle, but on this side, it stays pretty cool. I guess the fire blanket keeps them um, pretty stable there. And I guess this fan also has a sensor on the back of the where the microchip is that display the message. I think it plays the temperature, I think it's like 76 degrees it's saying. So it's just sitting at, you know, slightly warm, but it's not bad. Um, let's see, we at 194, still soaking. Oh, and this is a non-leaded. Um, so this is non-leaded profile. So it uh, goes a little hotter than normal leaded profile. Okay, so now it's reflow now. So it's gonna go to 245 from this point on. Um, it's getting it's pretty red hot in there. Don't see any smoke yet, so that's a good sign. Well, that's the other reason why I put the reset button right in the back here. So in case you know that way you can just hit reset shut everything off if something goes wrong um, 226 should get 245 I think and then we'll just do the cooling down um, so I don't know exactly if it's precise but um, some other video by someone else actually plot out this whole profile um, recording it and he found it to be pretty exact so hopefully this is pretty good as well so 244 46 okay now it's cooling down so I think the plateau would just I think just let it ramp down straight until it's done so basically your part should be flowing at this point and the SSR turn off so it lights off here so everything is pretty much off and now it's just cooling down um, and basically part will just settle at this point I saw some of the video people post that they have like a auto solenoid injector that just plunge the front of the, um, um, the 
oven open to cool it down faster, but I don't know how necessary that is. It might be cool to see if it ramps down quicker, so I might add that for the next version. But anyway, looks like this mod is really easy to do, and it you know works pretty well. Cheap toaster oven, and I think all the parts combined, and you know, just you know random parts I have lying around too. So it costs, uh, I would say, almost hundred bucks maybe, because the rocket scream part itself is like thirty eight dollars, and then the Uno, was, uh, well actually I didn't play, I got lots of Uno lying around, so I didn't pay for that. So like my actual cost for this whole thing. You know, just the that fan is twenty bucks, maybe almost twenty. I can't remember exactly at all electronics, and then the mocapo. And I guess it adds up. I think it's under a hundred for the whole thing. And now I have a assume functional reflow. So I'm gonna try doing actual board population and then reflow it, see how it does. But anyway, we have a working, functioning, cheap do-it-yourself reflow oven that seems to work pretty well, and a lot of people like it. So. And try doing it yourself. Um, I'll post a link to other, the other video that I got this idea from, and you know, thanks to his video, you know, inspired me to build one myself. And pretty happy how it works. Oh yeah, I see now. Oh, I just missed this temperature. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.